Hi, I would uh, like to just share a couple of little number magic tricks with you which make the rearrangement of formula that bit easier. The first uh, technique involves, uh, we've got an equation here, E, the subject, and four terms, A, B, C and D, and the final term D is divided by Z. It turns out though that we can move Z and divide any of the other terms by Z and still get the same answer. So if you were to plug some numbers into this and try it out for yourself, you would see that we could have Z dividing C, B or A, we would still get the same number. It also turns out that we could, for example, have A over Z and D over B, and they would also be interchangeable. Or we could have a situation where we've got four fractions, and in every case a denominator can be swapped with another denominator, and we will still get the same answer. The other number magic trick, if that's what you want to call it, is when we have a term like this, where for example we have uh, B over Z and C over B and A over D in the middle, sorry, A and D in the middle, and we could interchange A with B or D with C or A with C or D with B. It doesn't matter, any of these numbers, sorry, any of these terms along the top line can replace the numerator of the fraction. So both of these techniques are, are extremely useful when it comes to rearranging equations. This uh, equation I've got here is to do with the, um, the EMF induced in an armature. Uh, and what we've got effectively are some terms. And uh, this one, for example, is, is the, uh, the pairs of poles. This one's the flux. This is radians, uh, which is to do with the velocity. And th these two terms here are to do with the uh, length of the conductor. And that can be simplified using these techniques to, it can be simplified down to this here. So we've effectively got PZ over C times pi in brackets times uh, the, the flux times the radians. Uh, and that equation links directly to Faraday's well-known law of electromagnetic induction. Uh, the uh, induced EMF is equal to the flux times the length of a conductor times the velocity or the speed of relative movement. Just to go through that, uh, what I've done here, I've moved 2 pi, 2 pi has moved and it's now dividing 2p as per this trick here. And what that allows us to do is to cancel out the 2 so we get rid of the both, both the twos there, and then I'm going to move Z over to C next to this, and the other two terms will stay as they are. And then we can gather these terms into a fraction, P, P times Z over Pi times C, put that in brackets, multiply it by the, the flux and the radians. And that's just a very, very simple example of how you can use these type of techniques to simplify, remove terms, and, and group terms to make a, um, an equation easier to use which is actually the goal of mathematics overall.